Are you the type of golfer who one day you're making every single putt you look at and then the next day you can't buy one? Well, if that's you, it could be something as simple as you're being inconsistent with your putting setup every single time. And the good news is we're gonna show you how to do that with a simple tip of a one, two, three process that's gonna guarantee your putting setup is dialed in every single time. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And I know this, rolling the rock, making some putts, it is one of the things we love about the game. But one of the things that is the most frustrating is when you can't buy a putt. And I have found over the years of coaching that a lot of times it has to do with inconsistent setup when we get ready to hit a putt. And that's what we're gonna talk about exactly here today. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel uh, and sure to leave some comments. What are some things that you're doing in your putting specifically in your setup process that's helping you be consistent or if you got any questions be sure to leave those because I do my best to answer every single one of them and be sure to ring the bell so you're getting some notifications when we put out content which is happening every single week so let's dive right into it one two three a simple process that can help us guarantee our putting setup is dialed in now First of all, whenever I'm doing some training with a student or I'm getting ready for a round, I like to have some reference point as to where the ball should be, the width of my stance. I need something that I can refer back to. And that's why with a lot of my students, I use the Reimer Short Game Training Aid because it's a simple device. It works really well and it gives me that type of information. So I've got that down here in front of me. And let me show you what we're gonna do. So this is a three-step process because I wanna guarantee that my putter face is aimed correctly that my stance width is pretty much the same each time, and also that the ball is in the same spot almost every single time. So here's how it's gonna work. So I get set in there, I've got, first of all, I've got the ball positioned off the G here on the training aid. Now I like that because I want the ball to be ever so slightly forward of center. That's where it should be, I think, for almost all putters. I've done a bunch of different videos on putting. If you want more in-depth stuff on the stroke, check some of those out. So that's where I've got that ball positioned. So step number one, I'm gonna put my feet together, okay, something like so. Now I'm checking for a couple things here when I got my feet together. Number one is I want the ball to be right in the center of my feet. So it's literally right in the center. I can see that with the training aid right here. Also, I wanna make sure that my feet, the line between my toes is on a nice, nice straight line. This is gonna help me guarantee that my aim is proper with my feet. So step number one, as I come in here, I put my feet together so I can see my aim line on my toes. Ball's in the right spot. Step number two, I'm gonna position the putter down by the ball. Now what I'm doing here is I'm aiming the putter face. And this is a very important part when it comes to good putting is getting the putter face aimed correctly at the beginning. Now, how can you check that? Well, when you're set in here, what you're gonna do now, notice I keep my head nice and steady right here and I'm just gonna rotate my chin my left ear is gonna work up and back, and I'm gonna look down the line this way, okay? Now at the end here, I'm gonna talk about some common faults that a lot of golfers make when they go through this process that might kinda of help you, all right? So be sure to stick around for that. So that's step number two, got the putter face lined up, head rotates this way, all right. Step number three is very simple. I'm going to separate the lead foot and separate the trail foot, all right? Now when I do this, I wanna separate the lead foot a little shorter distance than the trail foot. Because remember how I said earlier, I like that ball to be slightly forward of center. So I'm right in here. Okay, separate and separate. Now I know that my putter face is aimed correctly. My feet are on a nice straight line. Okay, and I've got the ball in the right spot. So that's a simple way to do the one, two, three. Now I'll be curious to hear what you have to say about that. Do you have a different process that maybe you go through that's helping you find a good setup position. So let's talk about some of the common faults that I see a lot of when golfers get set up incorrectly. Well, number one is, okay, their feet are aimed incorrectly. So they come in here, they just kind of throw the putter down, and then they just kind of throw their feet down, and before they know it, they're aimed way left or they're aimed way to the right, all right? Just not a good habit to get into. The other thing that they'll do, is maybe they put their feet together, right? get the putter, and then they look at the putt like this. Notice how my entire body came up and moved and rotated. So now I'm looking at this way, which is not a good way to do it. You should be set in here and just rotating your chin. The left ear works up and back. 
and rotating your head down this way. This helps you see down the line better and really visualize where that ball is going to roll. So hopefully those couple tips will help. So next time you head to the golf course, here's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and move my training aid out of the line right here. So I've got my putt, I'm gonna come in, I got my feet together, right like there, I know it's a straight line, I aim my putter face, rotate, look down the line, little step forward, little step back, go ahead and get set in, and go ahead and roll the putt. So inconsistent putting, lots of times has to do with not getting set up the same way every single time. This little tip, the one, two, three, is gonna help you guarantee your setup is accurate, and more importantly, help you be consistent with your putting.